is a champion, the miserable pile of pixels. What's up summoners, this is Apodix and welcome to my season 6 Tom Kench ranked commentary. There's been a lot of Tom Kench players lately in League of Legends as he's getting a lot of bans as well so I wanted to give it a shot and what I've been experiencing so far Tom Kench is very very viable as a support and, and even, I've even seen him top lane as well so he's a lot of versatility as well when it comes to that. So as we look at down the lanes we're gonna have Tom Kench and Caitlyn in bottom lane versus Yin and Janna. As for the jungler, junglers go, we got Shivana and the enemy got Graves. In the mid lane we got Annie versus Katarina and top lane as you can see there is Poppy versus Yasuo. So pretty good pickups overall and as the, as the lane is gonna start sh soon, Shivana is gonna start from this Gromp. So we're gonna give him a little leash. So let's get started. So as you can see, Shivana just uses, uses might, and I actually tanked a few hits. And the reason for that is I got the Relic Shield, so I can easily manage to get the full HP back from these minions seen below. There you go. Just a couple last hits and your full HP again. So as for this matchup goes, it's pretty, pretty, pretty standalone. So both got good poking, Jin has good poke, Caitlyn can actually outrage Jin with he, with her poke, so it's definitely nice. And as for Janna and Tom Kench, both are pretty defensive support, so it's very very good, good but safe lanings altogether. And what do you want to do with early game as Tom? You just want to use your tongue lash, just try to poke as much as, as, much as you can those enemies, so you'll get the maximum pressure. So level 1 I took that Tongue Lash, we're already at level 2. So I get the Devour, which is a great defensive spell. You can either eat your own ally to mitigate damage, or once upon getting 3 stacks to enemies, you can devour them as well. So it's a great, great tool, really, really strong ability. One of the main reasons actually I believe Tom is getting banned, so really, really good, good ability when it comes to that. So this laning is gonna be a kind of passive-ish, as you can see Caitlyn got quite decent poke already on Yin, so it looks quite nice for us, but nothing fail yet. Having a quick look at the mid, Annie is pressuring the mid lane as well, it looks kinda nice. And looking down towards top lane, actually enemy's Poppy is gonna pick up the first blood, so Yasuo had this little feed fest going on. Shame on you Yasuo, shame on you. So. As we look at down the junglers, Graves is going for this mid lane, but Annie is gonna stun her right away. But Shivana goes in, gonna have that nice flash initiation. Is she gonna pick up the kill? And there he, there he comes. Shivana is gonna pick up the kill on mid lane, stealing Graves' buffs. So, quite nice trade overall. Even though they got the first blood, their jungle is pretty much screwed for now, as Shivana got the buffs. So, back at this bottom lane. We're kind of pushing this down, so you don't want to get too aggressive here. <laughs> and just using that puke emotion, having some fun with the master chef himself. So yeah, even though we got some poke early on, it's it's the fact that they got some damage back and some HP back. But as you can see, Caitlyn is just poking them. So, so nicely. Good, good damage coming up. You got that boosted range auto attack when enemies getting on trap. When you saw those uh, pre-season 6 reworks, Caitlyn was one of those marksmen who got some changes around. So, that range is really, really nice if you get caught on the trap. So, just trying to have more poke with the tongue lash. That's pretty much all you can do for now. Graves is at the, their own jungle. Just killing some wolves, so no pressure here at this moment. But Chivana is going back to this mid. What an easy kill for Katarina. She's already 0 and 2. Actually, it was Graves who died, so 0 and 1, my bad. But anyways, kind of pressure is this middle lane. They're having good good things going on. And Shivana going again on this Graves. As you can see, that damage is massive already. Oh my god. Look at that, look at that. Is she gonna dive that successfully? There it goes. Already killing spree for Shivana. 
really really good damage. As I wanted to mention about Shivana, she's really really strong jungler as well, so no wonder she's been picked and at the same time couldn't notice it immediately, but Yasuo is actually gonna pick up the kill on Poppy as well. So he's getting back to the game as well, that's pretty cool. And Shivana have got some plans here, but she wanted to try the gank, but Annie wasn't there, so getting back to this bot lane, getting some more CS towards Caitlyn. And as with the relic shield goes, you preferably wanna hit those cannon minions, because cannon minions give you the most gold to both of yourself and your marksman. Then comes the melee minions, they give you the second most money. And if there's nothing basically left, then you want to use that. Use the stacks to kill those ranged caster minions. But Graves is gonna come, or at least trying to come, but he will retreat immediately. As we don't have ward in that tri brush, he could come and try the gank. But our presence is kind of good at this point, so even though we're pushing, they got they could have a gank's potential here, but they didn't want to come after all, so. Damn, son. Just some more poking. Nothing really special at this point. They're gonna push down this lane. Me and Caitlyn. And at the meantime, top lane, Poppy is gonna pick up another kill. I believe she was a bit pissed off for dying for this Yasuo. And as for my opinion in the top lane, I believe Poppy has very, very good potential of killing Yasuo. I, I think Yasuo is more of a mid lane champion than top lane champion as well as they're gonna pick up the rift herald for poppy so they're getting some gold lead back as well really really nice counter pressure even though shivana is dominating at this stage of the game so pushing more minions nothing really special happening at this far as i said in the beginning tom kench is very defensive support same goes with janna so we're gonna have a quite Quite safeish lane, not really really hard trades coming up. So nothing too interesting at this point. Trying to have the, that poke, tongue lash poke all over the place as Janna is counter poking as well. But it's really about the position and timing. How are you gonna execute those tongue lashes? If you're a bit off or if your precision is a bit off, you might just hit that minion and then therefore miss it lose some mana but poppy goes mid they're gonna pick up the kill for katarina really really good trades but then graves comes here janna is gonna use that nice flash ultimate but i'm gonna gonna devour this caitlin and flash myself but it's not gonna be enough jin's gonna pick up that ultimate as well as graves poking up some pressure but there comes my exhaust trying to kite this graves under the tower but it won't be enough but in the meantime shivana is on the on her way Really, really nice pressure. No chance for Janna at this point. Jin is Ohm as well, so no, it's not gonna look really, really bad. So Shivana is gonna pick up the double kill, and Yasuo teleported here as well. So that's a ripping pepperonis for Graves as well. Good, good kills overall. Even though both of us died here, I tried to do that flash devour, but it didn't really work out because they just basically out damaged us. But we still got the three guys dead, so definitely not a bad trade, definitely not a bad trade. And Poppy is gonna push down this top lane as she wanted to take an advantage of this Yasuo's roam. Really, really wisely played. She's gonna actually push down that top lane. So they're gonna pick up some more global money now. But we're gonna pick up this dragon. As you noticed, I put that vision ward in. So we're gonna have that nice dragon. And now I'm gonna use the ultimate gonna go into that brush behind these guys they're not actually aware of this even though you can see the visuals Caitlyn is gonna join the fight as well so Yin is basically dead no chance for him whatsoever gonna have that third stack coming up and there comes the Devour and enemy Janna basically no chance to escape either so it's another kill bye bye you're gonna die Janna yes so really good ultimate there it's called Abyssal Voyage. What you want to prefer to do is you, you want to try to get behind the enemies, not in front, because it has somewhat delay on it. So it's definitely nice. Just try to get that ladder brush there 
just try to get behind the enemies. That's how you can have a good ultimate overall. But Yasuo is gonna die. There comes the Poppy and Graves to mid. Shivana is there on prepared. There comes the Shivana ultimate. And that damage is freaking sick, as you can see. Graves is almost gonna die. Shivana is still chasing. There comes the Poppy ultimate. But Lich, Lich is gonna pick up the kill on Poppy. But unfortunately, Shivana dies. Poppy's damage is too strong. Shivana was way too low HP. But I came to Rome and helped these guys out. I ended up devouring Poppy. And we got the kill for Annie, so even despite the fact Shivana died there, it was a good trade overall. Picking up some more kills. And as for the items now, you can see I got the Targon's Brace, which is <laughs> evolved version of the Relic Shield. And as well as I got the Sightstone and Trinket upgraded the Sweeping Lens now that I got the Sightstone. And I was just trolling there just picking up the Grump. Just wanna confuse these guys. <laughs> It's pretty funny. You can pick up those neutral creeps and then just throw them in the lane just for shits and giggles. But yeah, Caitlyn is gonna go for back. Shivana is going for for the Gromp actually now. So I'm not gonna go nom nomming it again. And she's probably gonna give that blue buff to Annie. Even she got one halfway down running. So there comes my ultimate again. Trying to have this roam on mid. We we'll pick up with the Shivana. But Shivana really can't join. She just threw the E and I threw the Tongue Lash. So we got both assists. So it was okay ultimate again. Nothing too shabby. Kind of an overkill ultimately, but not bad, not bad. It's sometimes very problematic when it comes to the Abyssal Voyage that when you really, how do you want to execute and use it? It really depends on those situations maybe sometimes you just want to use it from base so you can have a more distance flown it depends a lot but obviously if you can make a gank with that it's obviously better but there comes the Yasuo ultimate it's gonna be three versus three here Poppy's gonna stun Annie really really great pressure but there comes Yasuo for help actually Annie is able to run away and Janna is gonna die as well and Annie is barely gonna survive she got that Tibbers out of the way so really really nice Nice kills out of the way. Graves trying to steal the their red buff, but it won't gonna happen. I'm gonna go flash in. I'm gonna miss that tongue lash. Despite that, gonna throw an exhaust. There comes Shivana's E. Another tongue lash coming up. So it's an easy kill for Shivana. Just nom nom out of the way. With with throwing even more damage in the process. So definitely not bad trade. And as for the items, runes, and masteries. I have a full in-depth description in the video description below. You can see my preferred runes and masteries and everything. Go check out check out the link below if you're interested to my setup, what I'm using for. But yeah, the top lane is pretty... Uh, sorry, the bottom lane is pretty pushed for now. We got two turrets just now. So what we're gonna do now is rotate towards the mid lane. We wanna get more objectives done. Gonna get this middle lane turret as well and Shivana is gonna pick up that kill on Poppy really really fed Shivana at this point as you can see 9-1 it's great great stats for 16 minute mark really really much kills coming up but yeah they're gonna try to defend this mid it's gonna be 3 versus 3 at this point Shivana is nearby as well as Yasuo at their jungle so just trying to have more auto attacks in but come on Hit the turret. Yes. Tom tanks it for you, bro. Tom tanks it for you, bro. But yeah, Shivana might go back, but Katarina is aware of it. There's a ward, so they're just di disrupting her recall at this point. Nothing too fatal there, but Katarina is going in. I don't know actually why Annie flashed. Maybe the fact that he doesn't trust me. I, I could just devour and run away. But even despite that, there comes the Tibbers. They're gonna have a nice fight coming up. Shivana had a nice ultimate there, but he was kind of out of HP there, which is gonna cost us a bit. So it's a 2 2 trade at that point. But Yasuo is going in despite that. And Poppy is gonna invade in. Poppy is gonna pick up the kill on Annie, but Yasuo is gonna clear out Graves. And there comes the Harakiri ultimate combo. Will Yasuo pick up the kill on Poppy? 
There comes the stun from Poppy, but it's gonna barely miss. Whee! <laughs> but apparently, almost Yasuo are gonna pick up that kill. But thanks to Poppy's ultimate, she's gonna get away just knocking Yasuo out. So screw that. Looking towards the items. I got for this, went for the swiftness boots, but actually mobility boots are quite effective as well. It's it kind of kind of depends on your playstyle. Both both are great. Mobility is great because it gives you better initiation potential. But both boots are great, as I said. And once you get level nine, you want to upgrade the trinket to Oracle lens. It's actually better version of the sweeping lens because you can just walk around and clear even more wards in the process. So. And as well as I upgraded the starting item, the face of the mountain, I can just give out shields to everyone, so it's pretty pretty damn cool. As Tom can scale from health, you can do more damage with the tongue lash and stuff like that, it's, it's really good. And as for the neutral creeps, when you devour those neutral creeps, you can do a lot of lot of damage in the dose. First comes to my mind if the is the Rift Scuttler, because Tom Kench is the River King after all, you'll do a lot of damage to Rift Scuttler. You can clear out those pretty easily, even though you won't be stacking any damage. So we're gonna pr pressure this mid lane, but there comes Poppy. Very nice stun there. And <laughs> she's actually gonna ult those two guys away. I have no actual reason why, because she could just easily kill. Annie there, but I got the three stacks for Poppy. I'm gonna devour this Poppy, but I'm gonna end up dying. I had a little fail there, to be honest. The fact was that I tried to postpone the E, which is the thick skin, you get that bubble. I tried to withstand it for the last possible moment. Kind of reminds me of Trindamir's ultimate, that you want to use it on the last second possible, because you will get more shield out of it, so... I just kind of use it too late, which means that it's good as dead. <laughs> good as dead. But it doesn't really matter. We they, they got pretty much kills there, even though the early part of the fight looked kind of bad. But they got nice kills there, and we we're able to pressure even more. Two turrets from the top lane destroyed, two turrets from the middle lane destroyed, as well as two turrets from the bottom lane destroyed. So, as well as we got two dragons and they got none, so that's what I call quite an advantage here. But Yasuo is gonna stick there too long, it's gonna be end of Yasuo, Poppy's gonna pick up the kill with an assist of Jan Janna, so... Maybe we should be more careful. Caitlyn, don't die! I'm coming for you. Okay, just come... Come to my stomach for a while, I'll save you, bro. <laughs> You don't want to go too far when, when you're lacking players, especially if it's their jungle. Because, as you can see, they got plenty of players there. So... Again, with kind of greedy with the E. I should use it. I didn't expect uh, that Graves ultimate did that much damage. I still had the thick skin on. So... You just want to use it a bit earlier, I suppose. I'm getting kind of greedy with that thick skin. As I just mentioned, you want to use it at the last possible moment. But it doesn't really matter. She wanna just roasting these kills like a boss. It's just insane damage coming up. Will he gonna die for this Janna? I don't think so. They're just picking up these kills. Boom, boom, boom. It's four kills for us. And I'm the only one dying for our team. So, again, very, very good trade. Even though I got dead there. Kind of stupidly, could use the thick skin earlier, but it's a trial and error, it's a trial and error. I'd say that I've played Tom Kench like 10 games or so, so I'm definitely not a master when it comes to that, but he's definitely a very viable champion, as you can see. You can just devour your allies or your enemies, it's, it's very, very fearful spell overall. And you can also do those Ebbing escapes and saves for your allies, it's, it's, it's great, great. Great skill, very annoying to play against, but it's good if you got it with your team. And Caitlyn is gonna recall there, but this is gonna be end for us. Gonna go try flash away. Okay, now I get the thick skin out of the way. I'm gonna survive this one. And look at that damage! Even though Janna exhausted her, it's 
it's just sick, sick damage. And I can see Katarina there. You won't be coming. I know what you're trying. So yeah, I was able to do that thick skin finally early on. So I was able to survive. It's very, very important. You can get it activated. You can get a very, very big chunk of shield out of out of there. So, but now, yeah, just going for back. I'm gonna get some more items. I went for the Aegis for the Legion, which upgrades the Iron Solari. You can get the AOE shield. That's pretty nice. As well as I got the Elixir of Iron. You now it's a big, big, big Tom. <laughs> gonna be even more scary. So yeah, Annie's gonna pick up the kill on Annie. Uh, Katarina with Shubana. So nice pressure at again at the mid. We got the inhibitor already down. So. They're really, really gonna lose this battle hard. Shivana just going legendary. 18 kills. That's very sick for 24 minute mark. I can't really believe this is Platinum 3. This ranked game's been recorded from. I really, I'm really trying to get climbed towards Diamond 5, but <laughs> I actually lost four times the promotion series in Platinum 3. I've been having very toxic teammates and other shitty players, so I've been kind of stuck here. I'm, I'm trying really. Gonna get there eventually though. And as for the role selection in Champion Select, it's kind of funny when you can choose that you wanna fill. You can have support, jungle, mid, top, ADC, but then there's the option you can fill. But the fill is kind of bullshit, cause actually when you pick fill, you're gonna play, you're gonna get support. I went nine games with the fill role, and every game I got the support role, so that fill is kind of falsery in my opinion. They should fix that. <laughs> At least in this elo, it's it's always you get the support. People just think that it has the least meaning of it, so that's why people want to go carry and do tons of damage. And I kind of understand that, but <laughs> even though you can see Jin is kind of quitting this game, but even though I, my opinion is that support has a really really high meaningful to this game as well even though you you won't be doing big chunks of damage but it's still you you do a meaningful role to this game you'll be saving those carries and it's very important overall so yeah first nexus turret down that's gonna be the next second nexus turret down soon Jana is gonna do something very stupid probably wanted to do flash monsoon or something but that won't gonna happen gonna have that devour coming for poppy it's bye bye puppy. You're gonna die. Boom. Easy kills, easy kills. Oh Yasuo, don't die. I tried to pluck it for you. But Yin's ultimate too strong. Too strong. So next is down down to 50%. Katarina is gonna go come in. Finish me one more time. But the Nexus is gonna go really really soon down. It's pretty GG at this point. Shivana just raping that. Raping that graves. Great, great chunk of damage again. Unbelievable feeds there. So, that's it for the game. GG. So, in conclusion, even though I died five times, it's that you play for the team. So, play, playing as a support, you're basically the bitch of the team. You you have to protect your carries, you have to ward the brushes, you you just have to make the main... You're the maintenance of the game, so... You just have to cover up the allies and you'll be all good. Like, with Tom Kench is a good example, for season 6 you can do a lot of great pressure overall and he is a very very good champion so I wonder <laughs> why he's banning, getting banned all the time but I know why now, he's he's pretty strong at the moment. But any regardless, that's about it for this video, hope you enjoyed, my name is Apodix and have a nice day.